welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim. Today we're doing a walk around video of our 20, 2012 Mazda 3 MP5 manual. Uh, in this video we're going to go around the outside of the car, we're going to go through the quality of the paint as well as the interior and some of the features as well and the quality of the interior also. Now the MP5 is a, it's such a good Mazda, it's got that, that four cylinder uh, motor in it and it just, they zip along. The manuals are very very fun to drive. So we'll start off on the uh, passenger side at the front and work our way around. See we've got these nice big bright headlights with the uh, window washer that pops out here as well and fog lights just below that here. MP5 badge built into the dark grey grille which stands apart from the uh, the black. Nice big chrome Mazda badge here with a scoop in the front here that would help keep the engine cool and help bring in uh, a bit of flow and I bet you if we pop the bonnet there might be a small intercooler on top of the engine just there. Personalised number plates which match this car perfectly. It'd be a bit embarrassing if they weren't on a Mazda 3 but they are so that works out quite well. Another window washer here with fog light with the fog lights as well. As for stone chips, I maybe noticed one or two. A little bit of touch up here, but otherwise, for a black car on a sunny day, this is going to show up everything, and it really is coming up in top condition. I will be as picky as I can for you as well. Got a little bit of gutter rash here, and just there, but otherwise, this it's not much. It's very light into the rim. This alloy rim presents beautifully. Pirelli tyres, nice deep tread on that as well. You won't have to worry about those or replacing new tyres anytime soon. Built-in indicators into the side here with colour-coded mirror caps. I'll point out as well as we go around, because I'm a bit taller than this car, so it's nice and easy. We've got a sunroof. This car's fully optional. We've got leather as well. We'll go through that when we go through the interior. And we've got a spoiler too. Moving down the side itself, we do have our keyless entry button here, which you just press to lock and unlock the car with the keys in your pocket. And another common thing that you see on cars is a lot of scratching in behind here by rings. There's a couple of really light ones, but nothing else going on there. It's just a testament to how well this car has been looked after. And this black paint does have a little bit of a sparkle, sparkly sheen to it in the sunlight. No, don't know how well you can pick that up on the uh, camera, but it is there. It's not much, it's just a nice little touch. Here we got another little bit of gutter rush, but otherwise not much. And once again, brand new Pirelli tyre. You got your fuel filler cap here on the driver's side, nice and convenient for you when you get out at the, uh, at the servo. Big tail lights, now these are predominantly white, they've got their red bits around the outside, but they come off as predominantly white, really sets itself aside from the uh, the black in the car with your dual exhaust down the bottom, red reflectors, and here you got a button as well, which pops the boot. We'll have a look in here, we do have some, um, some floor mats, as well as a nice rear bumper protector for loading things in and out of the back of the car so you don't scratch the bumper, and that just sort of attaches um, to the, the, the bottom of the boot lining in here. So you just sort of Velcro that off, I'll move it out of the way for now, just so we can have a look under here. Because here we do have our space saver tyre with all of our jack and tools as well. And that is a sub right there, which is quite good. So, popping this back, there we go. I'll pull this down, you've got a nice grab handle right here. And like I said before, spoiler with your high mounted stoplight, which is also clear to keep in with the theme of this car. Rear colour coded rear reversing sensors. Now moving around to the uh, passenger side, we've got a little bit more rub here, otherwise brand new tyre. Oh, I thought it was a mark, but it wasn't, it was just a little bit of dirt. It has been raining here, typical Melbourne weather. No, little spot of uh, touch up just here. Otherwise this side is presenting just as well as the uh, the first. Uh, once again, there's just a bit of rain, rain, rain dirt that, a little bit there, otherwise very, very good. Uh, a couple of stone chips just here that I missed before, but otherwise very, very good looking. Nice deep tyres and a little bit of rubbing here. But overall, it's not too bad. For a black car and for a 2012 car, this car presents absolutely beautifully. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop the hood. We're going to have a look at the, uh, the engine underneath here, which is the powerhouse of this car. What really drives it and gets it going. So, just release the uh, bonnet handle there on the driver's side. And you've got your nice little clip here in the middle. Pull it off to the side. And there, there it is. There you go, I was right. There's your turbo, there is your intercooler sitting on top, getting that fresh cold air coming through the bonnet scoop. Now this is a 2.3 litre engine, which will put out 190 kilowatts and 380 newton metres of torque, which is insane in a car this size. This car still does have a five star ANCAP safety rating, and it also has a 60 litre tank, which will average 9.9 .9 litres per 100 Ks, which is quite good and efficient out of an engine that's putting out that sort of power for this size. You can expect around 606 kilometres per tank in this car.
Now moving to the interior of our MP5, like I said, this has got nice options on it. It's got a very stylish, racy looking interior as well, make you feel nice and comfortable while you're driving. I'll start to my right and work our way across the rest of the interior and I'll point out a few feature, key features with this vehicle. Just to the right here, we've got electronic adjustment of our side mirrors and full electric window control with a child lock for the back. Pull the steering wheel to the right, you'll see we've got our traction control here button as well, which is good to see, and our indicators on the right with headlamp control just here at the end of the stalk. Pull it over to the left, we got our front and rear windscreen washers as well, very good to see. On the steering wheel itself, on the right here we got our sat nav control, I'll point out that screen in a minute, and over here on the left we got our full media, volume, track, Bluetooth control as well, with cruise control being just a little bit lower on the steering wheel. Nice red stitching along the interior of the steering wheel. You would have seen as well, there's a bit of red going through the dash in front of me, and also on the door to the side here as well, which is uh, it's, it's good throughout the car, uh, just thought I'd point it out to start with. Now moving to the centre of the car, we'll start up at the top. You can see this car is fitted with sat nav, I just mentioned you've got a few sat nav controls on the steering wheel, but your little display screen is just right there nice and high so you don't have to divert too much attention away from the road while you're driving and it's it's just a good thing to have sat nav in a car these days getting around all the places around Melbourne very handy to the left of that you'll see we've got our full climate control and radio screen telling us what radio station we're currently listening to as well as our dual zone climate control settings as we move down from that, we've got our CD player across the top here, as well as our source button to choose where we want the, the, the sound to be coming from, whether it be auxiliary, FM radio, or CD. Just under here, we've got our big hard controls for all of our tuning, our volume, um, and everything else like that, which is quite good to see, as well as um, preset buttons as well for our radio station. Moving down slightly more, we've got our dual zone climate control, so you can have two different temperatures coming out of the air vents for each side of the car, and then the center dial just to control the uh, the fan speed, and they, they click as they move, so it's very, very smooth and nice to use as well. Good control there. I'll just turn that down a little bit. And then here we've got the rest of our hard buttons just above a nice little storage compartment with a 12 volt socket as well. And there's a little sticker saying no smoking. So I guess that's to indicate to people it's actually not an ashtray. So here we've got our nice short shift gear lever. So it's very smooth going through all the gears. You pop it down and slide it to the side and back to go into reverse. Uh, like I said, this car does have color coded reverse sensors, which is very good to see. Moving down from that, you've got your handbrake as well as two cup holders which you can actually pull out the center bit if you've got something slightly larger just slide it back in and it's also got a nice little door on top as well leather coated uh, center console that's it with the red stitching either side um, you pull this up and there you go you got nice deep storage as well in there and here's just like it's meant to be uh, one of these just to go there there you go to store your phone or stuff in that you don't want to go all the way down the bottom another 12 volt socket with your auxiliary port as well so i'll just pop that back in nice and neat and close this up now these seats are partial leather they've got nice fabric in the middle and leather on the outside the advantage to that especially being in australia is in summer you're not going to burn yourself when you jump into the leather uh, breaking apart our dark interior is nice uh, silver trims as well on the dash and as we see up here we've got our aftermarket sunroof up here with nice and black control very smooth operating, just to go back. Very good to see, and then just close it over like that if it does get too bright. The roof does appear to be pretty clean, a couple of minor marks, but nothing else to be concerned about going on there. This car has done 85,000 Ks, so I'm just gonna have a quick look at the service history for us, but I reckon it's gonna be pretty good. So we can see that the, uh, the first service was completed at Mazda, 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 all the services look to be so far to be completed by Mazda. We've just got a little gap between 56,000 Ks and 80,000 Ks, but they're all done at the same Mazda dealership. So you can guarantee everything's been done and bang on. And then our uh, mechanics have also performed an intermediate service when we got the car at 85,000 Ks. So the car actually isn't due for another service until 96,000 Ks. With those brand new tires, you won't be having, having to spend any money on this car anytime soon the time to watch our walk around video of our 2012 Mazda MP5 and uh, Mazda 3 I should point out as well now I what did forget to mention we do have two keys to go along with this car which is very good to know very handy and it is pushed to the start as well so if you have any questions please give us a call on 9907 and one of our friendly staff would be happy to help with your inquiry